people. I'm not a robot. Blech. Okay, well, to upgrade that weapon, I need a uh, fire dragon scales. I need Which is Teostra, I think? Yeah, I need to fight more than one Teostra ever, is the thing. How am I doing money wise? I'm just going to assume very bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> I'm doing better on money than points right now. I have 59,000 money, which is pretty much not enough to buy anything I need. Oh, no, no. That's, that's broke. <laughs> it's essentially broke. I'm gonna pop this John Cena video in the chat. Pop that Cena. This is with the actual translation because people just put whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> we could do an Apex Rathalos, Apex Rathian. Or we could just generally do an Apex Rathian, couldn't we? Could. I Owen? mean, it would murder the heck out of Owen. But... Owen? I, think, <laughs> I, mean, oh, yes. I think Owen would die in real life. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Rathian would come out of my screen and eat me. And then my switch would explode. And then you blow up! And then you blow up. I still don't know what that video is for. Like, I don't know if he's advertising the ice cream or if I... he's just... It's gotta be an advertisement, right? Yeah. I or mean, yeah, chilling. I think... I think he was like kind of like the WWE's like number one guy in China for a while. <laughs> I, I think it looks like, like some ice cream street vendor just like found him in his taxi and was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> can you do an advertisement for me?" Right here, here, take my very generic vanilla soft serve <laughs> and six hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, me, a lowly street vendor. Or Yin, Yin, uh, no, what's it called? No. I don't what remember what it's called. I don't know. I, I think Yun is Korean. Loon? Is Loon a thing? Yuan. Yuan. Okay, I was, mm. I was close. Oh shit, when does Currency the Hawkeye show start? Are. What about the what? When does the Hawkeye show start? I'm not sure. No, it's November. That's soon. Uh, that is yeah. soon. Cowboy Bebop comes out soon I'm as well. Literally it about does. to say that. Yeah, the new Cowboy yeah. Bebop comes out in. And there's a November. trailer, an actual trailer for it this time, and I was like, Oh, oh really? I need to watch mm -hmm. it. My reaction was, Okay. Yeah. Honestly, that's how I assumed the show was going to go. That's and, better than I expected. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be anywhere near as good as the show, but the new trailer had some, at least new, like, newly remixed Yoko Kano stuff in it, which oh, is okay. good. Yeah. I'm interested to hear what they do with the soundtrack. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, it might just be, even if it was just them newly recording. Yeah, the, like the same stuff. stuff. Like, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. In, like, 20 years. I just want the Ave Maria scene. That's all I want. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anything is going to have nearly as much gravitas. That's for sure. Yeah. I should try and rewatch. That's probably what's going to be the biggest downer, is that, like, the really impactful moments from the original show aren't going to carry the same weight. No, they're not. I what mean, were you going to say, Chris? I should rewatch. Like, actually, finally, actually rewatch Cowboy Bebop before I ever consider watching the live action version. Yeah, definitely. You own it, right? Uh, yes. But it's also coming to Netflix. Yeah, and it's okay, on probably. Like the actual show? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, like, oh, okay. I, I might watch it, it on a different? streaming service just for like HD quality because I do have DVDs and not like the Blu-rays, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I've watched through all my Blu-rays once, I think. Hmm. I'll have to watch it again. The main thing that stood out to me when I watched, like, the first teaser trailer that I said to Tim is just, like, boy. Wait, this is Capture Arathian? Oh, uh, Let news. me take that down. Uh, go on. Anyway, um, like, 
wow. Like, the... Oh, it was, the, like, the opening titles. Opening. Mm -hmm. But with live action, I'm like, wow, just, like, animation that looks good as an animation looks stupid as goddamn hell when human beings do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, my lord. I'm gonna go. Get Especially the jet running, fucking crack yeah, me all up. All of them running in silhouette. I'm just like, this looks dumb. Yeah, I am. I will say, I'm excited because I feel like they've picked a great person to play Jet. Like, as long as he's got the same kind of attitude, I'll be, I'll be into it. I think their eye well, casting think... is pretty inspired. I like John Cho as well. I don't, mm. I don't know how he'll perform. Like. The trailer definitely, I don't know. You, you can't get as cool as animated Spike Spiegel. Like you can't no. radiate <laughs> that cool, like honestly. Um, no. yeah. <laughs> well, especially because like, I I'm also fine with John Cho being cast. I do like John Cho, but he's like dad age now. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, I mean, that's Spike's something probably apparently... like late twenties, right? Spike, Spike is supposed to be, yeah, like mid twenties. Yeah. Well, um... I'm saying that like, I've watched movies in which John Cho is a dad, and that feels appropriate. Yeah. Right. I, and that's something he, like, literally said in interviews, like, I'm, like, a dad now, so I was kind of worried taking this role. Like, I didn't know if I could embody the right kind of energy or whatever. So yeah. he he was concerned about that exact same thing. Uh, right. he, Spike what, Spiegel what is, is 27 years old. Is it Hunter Rathian? Rathian. Okay. What'd you say? Chris? Uh, Spike Spiegel's estimated age is 27. Oh, yeah. Right. Which, right. So, John Cho's 49. So he's almost that's, double. Yeah, that's oh more than... God. That's more than... That's more. Correct. That's more. Like, my one concern I, um, is, like, does John Cho want to die enough? Yeah. Yeah, well... That's see, the that's the thing. thing. Like, in the trailer... Like, he said some of those kind of lines, like, I'm living in a dream, that kind of stuff. And it's just, like, coming from a human man who is John Cho and I have seen in other things, it just feels weird. It's ingenuous. <laughs> it just feels like this suddenly feels corny when it never did in animation, you know? Yeah. But... Also, no offense to John Cho's voice, but, like, Spike Spiegel's voice is a big part of why his character works. <laughs> Yeah. In, yeah. Yeah. I mean the English dub is literally like kind Google, of regarded yeah. as the as the <laughs> preferred dub of the show because of how mm. excellent the voice cast is. Yeah. Burb. But uh you don't get much cooler than Steve Bloom. I was very happy to see though that if you if you look up that video on YouTube, if you meet me online, yeah, I was gonna say you said it with the same cadence. <laughs> um, if you find that video, um, all the, like almost all of the top comments are like, "I don't even care how this show is because the music is gonna slap." And yeah. I'm like, and "See, I am. I enjoy people having that <laughs> opinion." Yeah. Because that's the thing; it's probably gonna be for a lot of people the first time they like watch cowboy bebop in any form so right least, unfortunately you know, yeah but at least if anything they'll still get the kick-ass music out of it i yeah. swear i've been trying to get me and Haley's friends to watch cowboy bebop for like years now and i mm -hmm. swear to god they're gonna watch that first i swear yeah. that's what they're gonna do so annoying. And i'm gonna be so pissed because they watched the death note movie without watching death oh note. no i was like who uh, are you what you is your know. demographic you can't be friends with that. anyone did that and this is the point where i admit that i'm also in that group oh what? my god really <laughs> i've watched like why you know six or seven episodes of death note well because jordan like, i used to respect you it was, oh that we both know that's not true i'm not deserving of that um well, it, it partly is that, like, away. I kind of, I thought Death Note was fine, but, like, it didn't really grab me. I kind of fell off of it. And you thought only... the Netflix movie would. Oh, I don't <laughs> think it's better. I, I just thought it was an hour and a half and would have, uh, um... Willem Dafoe thought. in it? Yeah, Willem Dafoe as a demon man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it did have that. And not it, it, it delivered on that. Yeah. <laughs> So no, I don't. I don't think it was good. It was. It was pretty. It wasn't that bad. But... Netflix's Death Note. 
meeting expectations. <laughs> yeah. I never, I never heard it was like abysmal, but like, if you're just, if you're just making something to make something, don't. Yeah, <laughs> like, like it, it, it was unnecessary more than it was bad. Which no, is, I'm funny. sure, going to be the case with this Cowboy Bebop yeah. as well. Yeah. That's kind of my view of the Cowboy Bebop, where it's like, it, it's not necessary. Uh, um, wait, didn't, like, Death Note have, like, Finn Wolfhard or some shit as, like... Yes, it did. No, no it was, no. um... <laughs> Nate no. Wolf from the Naked Brothers Band. You yeah, know, I think I was Wolf pretty much exactly correct band. then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you were not. There's okay. no difference between him and <laughs> the Stranger Things so guy. Confidently I think I think Ben Wolfhard was like Ed when that movie came out. Yeah. <laughs> so? <laughs> I don't think that makes their decision any less bad. Yeah, 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 I mean, a easy car. Honestly, though, like a ten-year-old Finn I Wolfhard even... would be just as good. I don't mind that kid's casting even, like, whatever, like, maybe he yeah. could have been good. They wrote the character as, like, a sniveling dipshit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, he definitely... They, they completely yeah, changed the essence the of the story. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, the story is literally engaging because Light is, like, a uh, conniving, like, genius asshole that you want to see taken down at least yeah, it was for me like <laughs> was the naked brothers band boy good at tennis though i doubt it i doubt that played any role in it because yeah i don't think they had that scene in there at all <laughs> because <laughs> hell also didn't have like any relationship with light in this and yeah. confirmed there was zero tennis what the fuck <laughs> i Death Note is my Prince of Tennis. <laughs> Just for that one episode. Mm -hmm. Death Note's just a good ass show. Yeah, it is. And I know it came from an era where I was like into a lot more edgy shit, but I think it holds up. Yeah, no, I mean, I watched yeah. it again Unlike in college and I was like, no, this is just good, actually. Like, I was yeah. actually just thinking about that yesterday, where, like, I was thinking about the anime we used to watch, and I was kind of wondering how much of that stuff I would still enjoy. I, I yeah, I've also thought Monica that. like that. Mm. Yes, I have thought that with Monica. I, I have I thought that with Fate Zero, but I still think I would like Fate Zero. I think um, I still like same. Monica and Fate Rewatch, Zero. Rewatched Fate Zero with but, all of it just as much as I did when I originally watched it. <laughs> yeah, My, I think... Some of those were just actually excellent. I mean, Ryder yeah. and Waver's characters will carry stuff. that show no matter what. No, my, my absolutely. Or what was that, Chris? I said Ryder and Waver will carry Fate Zero. Oh yeah. Even if the rest of the show doesn't hold up, like it will Pretty still much. be good. Like, yeah. That bridge mm -hmm. scene will still be one of the best like scenes ever. Right. But my question is, my my show where I really wonder is Kill a Kill. Oh, I recently watched Kill a Kill. That shit is incredible. It's even better. Kill is good. I think Kill a Kill might be better. I, I would yes. Ask. Better? I would bet yeah. it's better. Even I, than I think when I the, it a lens from 10 years later makes it even better because you're just like, this is just fun. Which like is <laughs> it, a, which is incredible considering it's a show about like high school students getting naked, but they like mm -hmm. make it not horrible. It works. Well, that's my thing. It was like, I remember, like, the, the high school kids getting naked is the thing that kind of sticks with me. And, like, I'm wondering, like, yeah. would, would I would I be, like, more creeped out by that now? Well, it the thing about Kill a Kill that's really weird is it kind of seems to do a heel turn early on where, like, initially it seems like, oh, my God, this is, like, a horrifying level Ratchet. of fan service. Yeah. And, yeah, like, ratchet levels of fan service. Mm -hmm. And then... It does like uh, a turn where it just takes rock. itself so not seriously that, like, I, I never the remember nudity. Yeah. Why? Or why? Oh, just there you yeah. go. There you go. It's fine. I was literally Wait, got, just watching like, the episode today, and that same thing happened. Anyway, when you get to the end of Kill a Kill, like, and every single person in the show is naked, <laughs> and, yeah. and none of them have nipples. <laughs> And it just like it doesn't even phase you anymore. It's like yeah, it's it somehow accomplished its goal of like making like <laughs> nudity feel like normal again. Yeah, 
Well, because yeah. I mean, yeah, there's just so many naked characters by the end. You're just like, oh, okay, this is just how this yeah, is now. It's just, it's just a thing that happens, and like they actually succeed in, like, <laughs> it's a, like doing their best like, to kind of destigmatize it. it. Yeah. Like, the last episode doesn't it have like. And a wall of naked people trying to catch <laughs> to catch Ryuko, who yeah. is falling from the sky oh. naked. <laughs> because she destroyed all of her people. clothes in space. Like, and the whole thing about <laughs> clothes is like, it's like, <laughs> God, what a show! <laughs> Just dropping that. Uh, uh, go on, you're saying. Uh, like it, 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 like the entire core message is pretty much like do what you are comfortable with and kind of fuck what other people think like mm, it, it's, more or less, yeah. it's a very positive show in terms of like body type like and aesthetic and everything mm. yeah it it's kind of shocking what it is able to pull off with such a like garbage tier premise like yeah. on paper <laughs> it's one of those shows where I, I, I enjoyed because I, I ended up watching the, all of it in Japanese, but a good portion of it in English. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> Nudity, the beach. I mean, that's like half the comedy of that show, unfortunately. <laughs> that dude just saying. <laughs> yeah. So if you did not watch it in uh, Japanese, you might not like it yeah. as much. Nudista the beach. <laughs> Oh! Oh my God! You're not getting oh, away. I'm... Um, anyway, yeah, oh. Kill the Kill holds up. If if you were worried, Jordan, please yeah. rewatch right. it. I, I believe yeah. you. It wasn't so much like me thinking like, oh, I thought I think that's no, bad. No, no, it's, it's just like, amusing. But yeah. I still think the weird like naked show is still good. Um, yeah. Also, the music is outstanding. Oh my yeah. God! Newy Steve. <laughs> Here's a uh, follow-up yes. question. No. Um, do you remember what shows we actually wanted to watch on Toonami? What shows we wanted to watch, did you say? Yeah, like what shows did we like actually watch Toonami because you wanted to watch them? And what shows did we watch because like Space they were Dandy. On? Space yeah. Dandy, yeah, early. That was a uh, sophomore year. Yeah, well. Mm. I just like couldn't remember what shows like we like actually. Yeah, Kill a Kill was one of Kill them. Kill a Kill. I, yeah, I uh, remember that. Iron Blooded Orphans. Yeah, we yeah. kind of. That was sort of kept up with that one. That was a pretty was solid awesome. six, though. We were like, always oh, just like, yeah, we'll like quiet down a little bit more for this one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not a fucking yeah. a Kame got kill. Right. Oh yeah. God. Right. Uh, yeah. I know One Punch Man aired on. Right. Tsunami, one Punch Man. We, had, we had all seen it definitely. Yeah. By then. Okay, I, I definitely killed it with my, with like the last charge of my elemental discharge. Hell yeah. this, that screen is awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of trying to remember. Um, yeah, and the, I mean, for a while, sophomore year, we were like actually watching One Piece because it was genuinely compelling. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that arc so that was one, really like, good. That one like 60 episode stretch out of a thousand. <laughs> and we probably only watched like maybe 15 episodes in the grand scheme of things because that's many weeks. Mm -hmm. But... Um, yeah, I don't think they ever. They didn't air anything like Madoka or that kind of stuff. No. They had a bunch of like random, like kind of mediocre twelve episode like action shows that would were designed yeah. to appeal to like yeah sixteen year old boys. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the one with like it oh, was like Parasite? Oh yeah, Parasite. Yeah, we, oh, Parasite. We, were, yeah, we, we were engaged. We with intently that for... watched Parasite. Yeah. yeah. I didn't like it that much, but no, we it, definitely it tried. kind of fell on its face ultimately. But yeah, maybe mm -hmm. that's a little harsh. But yeah, it was it was interesting at the end. Yeah. Did they have was a race ever on Toonami? I know it was probably like it way was, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, I think so. You guys well, didn't watch it there yeah. though. No, we did not. We watched yeah. it as yeah. it aired and it became really more disappointed every day. The last mm -hmm. two episodes. Yeah, I, I pretty much completely fell off of um, Toonami by the end of sophomore year. Remember? 
Do we always yeah, I mean, we, junior year? we just kind of threw it on, I think, at a certain point. Yeah. Because we had cable and it was something to do. Yeah. I mean, we were up at 1 o'clock on Saturday night anyway. Uh, did you get a Ruby on? Probably not. I did not, no. Well, should we try a Apex? Think I'm going to be able to survive an Apex? I mean, maybe if we get insurance. Let's run away. <laughs> I think you're an Apex breaker. Thank you. Someone's I'm an Apex piss boy. You are an Apex piss boy. With your Apex piss dog. They're evolving. <laughs> I'm a deviant uh... piss boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this piss cool. boy is my deviant variant. <laughs> It's the Mega Man dog. Oh, see, so do not steal. I, <laughs> I do not have uh, insurance. Oh. Jordan, did you? Uh, no. Okay. All right, Chris. Well, can I buy insurance? Probably not, right? Uh, you can because you, you Cause share you our, have food our food while you are with us. Okay. Is that? Do I just do that by eating a meal? Uh, no. You have to look specifically. Um, for like a mix. It's one dango. Uh, which one is it? I think. You know what? They switch it out every time, so I actually don't know what the it, name it, is. But it might. I, I'll look for it. The first one up, right? Yeah, if you've got it, it's the first one up. Is, is it? I think it's always the first one up if you have it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, then I mine's just the regular Kamara. Okay, I also have Kamara. I've got my. Mo I've got Moxie. Huh. That's just the one I always get. All right, let's not do that then. Well, yeah, let's wait till we get it. I will die. <laughs> get that one. Are there any arena quests? Can we do arena quests together? I don't even know. That's a good question. Oh wait, they they wouldn't give parts stuff. We should do arena quest stuff sometime. That might be actually interesting. Uh, are you putting one up on? Oh, I can. I'll yeah, just do, you just want me to do regular Rathian? Uh, okay. I'm sure mine will fail again anyway. So okay. Man, I'm just thinking about erased and how much of a bummer that ending was. Yeah. <laughs> I I want to watch good show. Um, <laughs> I want to watch Fena Pirate Princess. Yes. The show that just aired you on Toonami because it looks good. It's got a Yuki Kajira score. It's like a swashbuckling mm. adventure. Yeah, sort of and thing. the animation. All of these things are good. Is good and like looks kind of like an older style. Yeah, it's got my favorite character archetype, <laughs> which is random girl princess who becomes a pirate yeah <laughs> very specific or just just any like random small woman becomes badass yeah. small woman in armor in armor would be great that's pre preferable mm -hmm. secondarily pirate yes <laughs> okay i'm preferable if she was annette from fire emblem three houses <laughs> yes, and I could put her in the uh, Dark Knight armor. Yeah, the Dark Knight armor. <laughs> or the fucking Fortress Knight armor. <laughs> uh, I did that with the smallest woman in uh, Awakening I put in the Fortress Knight armor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm uh, going to say something pretty bad here, but I think I'm tired of being piss boy. <gasps> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, <gasps> yep. Yeah. Piss boy will come again. Piss boy will return. Piss boy will return. In Zack Snyder's Justice League. Piss boy and the Ten Rings will return. And the Ten Rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of, who's excited for Eternals? Okay. Like, I, I is was gonna anyone? Talk, I was no. going to talk about this earlier. I don't know who any of those people are. I keep flip flopping. <laughs> you don't know Slugman? No. Uh, go on, Chris. I keep flip flopping because, like, the more people are like, "Wow, this looks horrible," the more I, like I turn into sickos, and I'm like, "Yes." But then they're I... like, "It has a sex scene," and I'm like, "Wait, okay, so maybe you're right. Maybe this is bad." <laughs> but I've heard there's a sex scene 
but something about it is like really gay somehow but it's yeah i've heard it's not a man in, too. but I, from what i understand it looks like a man and a woman so i don't really awesome. we, we've it. already had a sex scene in marvel one's enough have we yeah in the first movie iron man iron man one has a sex scene like 15 minutes in yeah for like three seconds but it's not really a real sex scene i am uh i i kind of brought it up because i am this quest I'm strongly considering um, doing a double feature of Dune and the Eternals like next next Friday. God, I wish I, I, oh, if okay. I can get free that day, I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> and like, like, I yeah, like I, I'm strongly considering it, and I, I don't know if I'm going to go through with it. But like, I, I finally like, like stuff calms down for me on like Wednesday, and then I can can do I it d- i but... do i do want to see dune i don't care about the eternals i also heard that that last night movie is actually good and absolutely no one went to see it well yeah because it looks gross <laughs> and it apparently like has two separate rape scenes oh yes they're well i think they're two rape they're... scenes from a different perspective yeah they're two perspectives of the same sexual assault see yeah the weird thing about this this night movie is it's actually about sexual assault <laughs> the entire movie is i i believe that it's a good movie like mm-hmm. and i also have zero interest in seeing it see when you first said yes. that night movie i'm like ah yes edgar writes one night in soho or whatever it does oh looks, no not that it, one it doesn't sound like that based on my experience <laughs> with edgar wright no no remember it's the ben affleck has a mullet one yeah and is a the, medieval knight the k and also N-I-G-H-T matt damon G-H-T has a one. mullet correct the one that you didn't know existed until piss boy in the ten rings until <laughs> piss boy in the ten rings sorry <laughs> sorry shang chi <laughs> the movie was good it was yeah, good. pretty good yeah the thing like eternals might be bad but i'm really curious to see like the Celestials are really interesting to me now that I have read Earth X and Universe X. Well, Chris, so you obviously follow the Night in the Woods guy on Twitter, right? I do. The The Eternals you... are Christian. Yes, he's been going off about the Eternals are Christian, he and I, I don't know. Going. I don't know what's real. I, don't, I Dude, literally none don't of know what real. to believe. No, no, it's okay. just him making a joke for like a week and a half straight. It's it's not funny when I don't know if it's real. <laughs> I don't know anything about the Eternals. Maybe they are Christian. I don't think they're Christian. I mean, comics were weird back in like the seventies. There was like a lot of cocaine, and all the writers were either like, uh, oh, like weird anarchists, like weird libertarians, or just literal fascists. Yeah, also, like, the thing about the Eternals, really, is there's only been, like, two or three Eternals runs, and one of them is currently going. Okay. Like It, they, it is a very so strange thing to make a movie out of. They are, like, it's, a it group... Seems like it. They are a group of people who have existed in the comics, but, like, have never been central in the comics that much. Yeah, well, it, it was essentially like a... I was immediately like put off... Movie. I was immediately put off by the trailer, because, like... <laughs> The very, very first thing the trailer does is try to contextualize where they were when Thanos was doing things. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, the fucking Marvel Cinematic Universe, man. <laughs> like, who gives a shit? Unfortunately, nerds. Unfortunately, yeah. wiki, wiki yeah. fans. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, if you're going to have a bunch of, like, all-powerful space gods that absolutely could have stopped Thanos from murdering half the universe yeah. and chose not to, I think that is a fair, like, criticism of your shared universe. Uh, mm. Yes. And I, it doesn't the sound like they win. in general is the problem. Yeah, in that's that fair. Case. Yeah, and because of the way that they introduced Thanos, they kind of bungled the f- functional explanation that exists in the comics. Mm. God, I, I am firmly convinced that they should have gone with the comic, like, version at yeah. this point. Yeah. Like when it first was like, oh yeah, they're not having Thanos be in love with literal death. I was like, yeah, that's probably a smart move. Too too silly. And now I'm like, what, the the other movie wasn't silly enough. In in Universe yeah. X, they do a very clever thing with that, where his obsession with uh, death is not like a romantic love, but uh, because death comes to him in the guise of his mother, and so it is like an obsession over her death, pretty much. 
All right. And like, she was of sc of scroll descent, uh, oh. and like that's why he looks the way he does. And like, she was yeah. terrified that if everyone found out, they would murder her. And people found out, and he was very upset and took retribution. And then sure. death took advantage of that. Yada yada yada. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's good writing. I feel like you said a lot of things and then and introduced a lot of people and then said he and I don't know who you're talking about anymore. <laughs> the, the he was always Thanos. Yeah. Okay. He yeah, was Death. upset that his mom was the he, wrong uh, he, race. He, uh, well, a race that is stigmatized because they're shapeshifters and boy, what there's so much going on in Marvel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you see? You watched Captain Marvel, Tim? Absolutely not. Shit. Shit, that's the one that has all of them. Oh, okay, okay, the, that's the green, why scrolls the, sounds familiar, though. Yeah. The green okay. aliens with, like, yes. that can shapeshift. Yeah. They are... Okay. I, I did okay. feel like I had heard of that before. Yeah, and... There's, there's something from Marvel that might have, like, somewhat filtered into the public, like, consciousness. Yeah. Right, because isn't the whole thing with Captain Marvel that it's like, I have to kill these evil shapeshifters, and then it turns out they're not, actually? Yeah, they were refugees. I mean, it, yeah, like it's like the imperial power. But also, I mean, it's a it's a war, and like the the parts she saw were manipulated, obviously, and that she saw the other side. She's like, wait, wars. This war sucks, actually. Okay. <laughs> I think Captain Marvel came out at a time where I was in ultimate Marvel fatigue. Same. And yeah. it also, uh, it just like, the critical reviews were like, it's fine. And I'm like, I'm yeah. not going to see a fine Marvel yeah. movie right now. And when I eventually yeah. watched it on Disney Plus, when I started this whole get into comics thing, I was just like, yeah, that was fine. <laughs> uh -oh. it, it is probably the most fine Marvel movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say it's probably the heard. most average Marvel movie. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's like it totally exists and like it's fine. Supplanting, and... supplanting Iron Man two. Yeah. <laughs> I, I people kind of see that as an objectively bad uh, uh, movie now, right? It seems like. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I would actually say that that Captain Marvel is probably better than Iron Man two. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's like Iron Man two is now below average because Captain Marvel is the average. Yeah. Yeah. But like, uh, what's his name? Who plays Justin Hammer does a good job. Oh, yeah. Sam Rockwell. uh, yeah, yeah, Sam, Sam Rockwell's Rockwell. character is a fucking slime bag, and that's fun. Yeah. And then didn't Sam Rockwell play the exact same character in a Transformers movie or something? Yes. <laughs> like, yeah, he did. Like the exact same character. <laughs> Some slimy uh, business dude. Yeah, but like quippy and funny. Yeah. Wait, uh, was he in Transformers? He was in one of them, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I, I think he was in I, like the third one, maybe, or something. I think you might be thinking of Stanley Tucci. No. Oh, is he a bad business uh, guy? He's a bad or, business guy in Transformers. There might be a second bad business guy in Transformers, but I think the guy be. you're thinking of might be Stanley Tucci. Man, why the fuck was Stanley Tucci in that film? <laughs> Stanley Tucci apparently played two parts in that movie. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. He had like he was, he was like a cameo as Merlin. Right. Mer 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 the wizard Merlin. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Because by the fifth one or whatever, they're like, what if we introduce oh, the Knights nine. of the Round Table? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Our Transformers. God. The Knights of the Round Table, and also Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> Get out of there, dude! <laughs> Go back to writing your silly generic waltzes or whatever. I kind of regret falling off before that movie because that movie might have actually been kind of fun. <laughs> I uh, I have a uh, my friend Jarrett, who I think yeah, you you guys both. Yeah, I know. Um, he he like. Ironically, unironically, loves the Transformer movies. You know, kind of like a Lindsay love Ellis. to hate. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe like Lindsay Ellis. <laughs> um, and 
I think he actually liked the Anthony Hopkins one because it was just so bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he, well, he is also the kind of person that marathoned like all six existing movies in one yeah. night at one point. Oh my god. god. Why? <laughs> and by one night, I mean like a whole day, that sounds like. Yeah, yeah like. I mean, that's a lot of Transformers. He hated that. <laughs> <laughs> Bone Crusher? That's the uh, guy's name. <laughs> uh, he hated that. <laughs> He likes to um, hate more than Megatron is himself. <laughs> what was I going to say? Transformers, Marathon Anthony movie. Hopkins. I swear. Like, like I also get bad. Justin I get Hammer. Sam Rockwell also confused with um, the guy from the third one. That that actor. I feel like I've gotten them confused before because they were both Iron Man yeah. villains. Uh, what's his? I don't even remember that guy's name. I no, don't that know guy that guy from Memento. I don't know yeah, that, that actor's name. Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce. Yeah. Hmm. I I know Sam he Rockwell because he was a fun people for us. He was not in the Transformers movies. He was in Iron oh, Man Three. He was in Iron Man Three. Yeah. Okay. A good yeah. movie. Yeah. Hey, Perhaps. because because of Shang Chi, a little bit better movie in my opinion. <laughs> Never, never in my life did I think that would tie in to a modern Marvel movie. <laughs> yeah, that was phenomenal. That, that was a, that was a very good save. <laughs> like even as someone who very much thinks Iron Man three is one of the better Marvel movies, that was a good save. That was a good recovery. <laughs> Do they reference Iron Man three in Shang Chi? <laughs> they, uh, a little bit care? more than that. <laughs> Do you care, Owen? I don't even know. No, Probably I'm not. not right? it, so whatever. So Shang Chi was it was good, and I would recommend it. But okay, um, I did hear good things about it. Yeah. So it, it's funny because Chris and Jordan, I, I had heard talking about this before we went to see the movie, which is that Shang Chi's like canonical dad is like the original Mandarin or whatever. Oh, okay. Right? Is that yeah. right? Guys? Yeah. Um, I was never quite sure. But... I was also not 100% sure. I was like, just, uh, every time I saw it, it wasn't mentioned by name. They talked around it, but I was just like, I'm pretty sure that's the Mandarin. So, yeah. we, so they had been, like, I remember Chris specifically asking, like, I wonder if they'll do something with the Mandarin in this movie then. Mm -hmm. And, like, at one point, Shang-Chi's dad references, like, they called me or, the Mandarin or whatever, and, like, mm -hmm. I was the... You know, like most a, powerful, yada yada. It was like um, a chicken dish, like the joke. Yeah, yeah, like, so he he quips about how that guy was imitating him as the Mandarin or whatever, and mm -hmm. um, and you think that's gonna be the end of it, but then fucking Ben Kingsley is just, like, imprisoned in this guy's house. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's in, like, a third of the movie. Ben Kingsley, who is just like a weird like drugged out actor named trevor <laughs> from the original iron man 3 is just right. like imprisoned in this guy's house and, and like, he's, he's like... just a total fucking goof goofball <laughs> and he's kind of just like i mean i regret taking the job but like i get it i get why i'm in prison <laughs> yeah he's like i didn't know they were terrorists but i'm an actor <laughs> Yeah. All right, that's a, that's a pretty good tie-in to like how, yeah. how, how awful that movie was. That and the reason he wanted to become an actor. <laughs> <laughs> he explains in the film the reason he wanted to become an actor is because he saw the film Planet of the Apes, the original one, oh. and saw the people in monkey suits riding on horses, and he's like, but those mon those weren't actually monkeys riding on horses. Those monkeys were actors. <laughs> <laughs> like like he, he sort of gets it but like doesn't quite understand that they weren't monkeys <laughs> <laughs> like he think he still thinks they're actual monkeys but he's like right. they're not they, monkeys they're actors they're not monkeys riding on horses they're monkeys acting like they're riding on horses <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Which is so, so good. And the fact that they did not have him riding on a horse by the end of that movie upset me, but... <laughs> yeah, it, okay. it seems like they were setting it up. It but also, weird. by, like, the end of the movie, I would have, like... They, they, they would have been good, a bad they, tone. Yeah, shift. they did a good job distancing him from the 
serious finale. <laughs> Until the very, very end where they're singing karaoke. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs>